right, so last video we talked about the different vector equations. So if I turn these vector equations into my parametric equations, I've got x is 2 plus 3t, y is negative 5 plus 6t, and we saw that this graph was a, a diagonal line. It's going to have a slope of 1 half. And if I also want to think about finding the y-intercept, well, my y-intercept is when the x value is 0. So I know that if x is 0, that must mean that my t value is negative 2 thirds. That means that y is going to be negative 5 plus 6 times negative 2 thirds. So that's going to be negative 9. So I have the equation of this line could be rewritten as y equals, so this slope, I'm going to the right 3 and up 6. So earlier I said the slope was a half, but that's not true because I go right 3, up 6. That's actually a slope of 6 over 3, or 2x minus 9. So let's come back in and look at our graphs. So 2x minus 9, here's my negative 9. If my slope is 2x, or if my slope is 2, that means this should be about 4.5. And looking at that, when y is 0, I could figure out my x-intercept, and I'm going to go with 4.5. So let's come back and look here. So vector a in this form is my point on the line, 2, negative 5. Vector b is my direction, 3, 6. My slope was 6 over 3, which is 2. And my y-intercept was 0, negative 9. So I can't see the y-intercept in this form, but I could solve for it. So x is 4 plus 1t. y is 0 plus t. So in this case, my a is 4, 0 my b is 1, 1, my slope is also going to be 1 over 1, and now my y-intercept, well, x is 0 at t equal negative 4, at t equals negative 4, this implies that y would be negative 4, so I would get 0, negative 4 as my y-intercept. So if I have a vector equation of a line, well, my slope is going to be given by the rise over the run, and a1, a2 is a point on the line, and to find the y-intercept, I need to solve for x equals 0. So find t such that x equals 0. Well, that's going to be t is going to be equal to negative a1 over b1. Plug in to find the y-intercept. Well, that's going to end up being a2 plus minus, because I'm going to multiply by a negative, minus a1b2 over b1.